Good Friday, but unfortunately, the sad story of um, the passing of one of our musical legend, um, Orlando Julius. How did you receive the story? Well, I actually saw it on Instagram on the BBC page. Then I saw my brother's page. I was wondering, like, no, I saw it on my brother's page first when he was like, wow, a lot happened between last night and this morning. You know, uh, but as usual, uh, you know, that's the case in Africa. It's not only Orlando, you know, there's so many people that have done great works to elevate us to the level that we are artistically, intellectually, you know, also literally in this country. You know, but maybe apart from Wale Shoyinka and Chinu Achebe, you know, nobody was as celebrated in their lifetime. You know, we find a way to malign and forget all about them, except we need them to come and give us some prestige in our parties and things like that. There are no institutions preserving, you know, this, this uh, artist when they are alive or these artistic works. So it's a shame, but as usual, you know, we'll get our one week of remembering Orlando, hashtag. You know, but his wife is a very close woman to me. Uh, I'm going to call her when I get home. I've been up and about, but I'll speak to her today for sure. Auntie Latoya has always been uh, uh, very inspirational to me, a uh, very caring person, a motherly figure to me. Since I even lost my mom, she's one of those people that, you know, anywhere she goes, she just shines and radiates so much um, positive energy. So we're going to miss Uncle, Uncle Orlando, but I know Auntie Latoya will be even more devastated right now, you know, uh, my hopes and prayers with her. All right, um, in terms of um, musically and, and everything, how, how much of a loss do you think um, his passing is? Um, his legacy, what do you think is his um, legacy as a musician? Uh, well, I think the passing is very sad. Well, you know, and nobody's going to live, live forever, you know, but through his works, I hope we are able to remember him. And those works have to also be in a certain way uh, memorialized so that uh, generations to come can tap into that knowledge, you know. So, um, but, uh, personally, um, do you draw any inspiration from him? We know um, how um, the relationship between him and your dad uh, and one of the pe first people who started um, instrumentation, um, saxophone and all of this. You are one of um, the very strongest saxophonists in the country, in the in Africa, if I may say right now, and all of those things. Seeing that he's one of the people who pioneered and um, um, led the thoughts and all of that. What are some of the legacy that musical that you think he left? And the things you, your experience with him, if, if you interacted with him personally or whatever? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've played with him many times, interacted with him many times. He's truly a great person. I mean, uh, uh, I think me personally, you know, uh, as a saxophonist, the saxophonist I admire, uh, his style and technique, you know, is something that has inspired not just me, but many uh, musicians all over the world. You know, Orlando Julius is truly a, a world-renowned saxophonist with international repute, you know. So yeah, we respect him for that, and he's an inspiration to all of us. All right, um, lastly, before um, I let you go, um, we caught you in the middle of we caught you in the middle of a rehearsal. Yes, um, is there something coming up? Um, anything new uh, for, from show um, that we should expect and, and stuff? No, no, I'm always rehearsing my band, regardless of anything new or nothing new. That's what it is to be a band. You're always rehearsing. But also, uh, my new album. I'm working on my new album. We're going on tour, just the usual. Well, you know, I started playing in my dad's band when I was eight. My dad died when I was 14, and I started leading the band. But my big break did not come till I was about 20, 24. No, sorry, till I was about 22. And when my first album came out when I was 24. But just before that, it was able to happen because I was performing at Alliance Francais. That was where I started playing with the band, like really professionally, weekly, for a long time. And that was where I was um, scouted by Warner Music to do my first record, you know, so uh, now it's like I've gone full circle, I'm going back to where it all started, I was doing this special event for May Day, but it's going to be four days into May Day, so I think 28th, 29th, 30th and the 1st. Alright, thank you very much, congratulations on that again, yes. All right.